Whoa. Hi. Oh my goodness. How did we get here? So guys, we went for Christmas break to the... I mean, we went for a Christmas break at country. Then we got back home. This is what we found. Look at our little garden. Oh my goodness. Look what happened. So, let me show you. So basically, it's so overgrown. Like, see, the letters, they even change color. Because <laughs> there was really, there was no one was taking care of them while you were away. Then there's this, uh, the traditional vegetable saga. It's also so overgrown. You can't consume it. Hi, Lizzie. Hi, just take a look so what you're going to do about it at least this one looks better we had read it just before we left and they're doing so well the capsicum this is quite impressive wow i'm surprised but at least it trained for some days so still doing well this isn't much okay the weeds have been some of the weeds have been removed but just look at this these are supposed to be letters so seeing the capsicum look really good so there's so much hope and you're giving it some water and all that so uh, just a little tour look this uh, to see how the garden looks like this is the way you can utilize your little spaces even if you live in Nairobi where we are squeezed you can still utilize your little spaces right Lizzie and then make good use of them so you don't have to buy everything so uh this one was also weeded recently we we removed some of the letters and the overgrown lettuce. stuff oh lettuce is it letters or lettuce? lettuce thank you my english teacher i'm told it's lettuce not letters <laughs> so we're going to plant some vegetables here i'm hoping to plant some spinach and uh, skumawiki and s some other veggies uh, down here we have some pepper. Is this red pepper? Lizzie, what is this called? That's chili. Oh, it's chili. Yeah. Oh, my oh, English no. teacher again. No. And this one is what? It's like, it's yellow, but it's also chili. Okay, yeah, these ones are okay. Is. And then the other ones on that other side too. You have others? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so. Oh, our popo is still there. You guys have ever seen this popo? Still doing better. Still doing well. Okay, it doesn't need much maintenance. They just say need, need much maintenance. As strawberries, the beauty with strawberries, once you plant them, and once they've picked up, th these ones have been here for so long, and you're still enjoying the fruits. Do you have some fruits there? Yeah, there's like this one. Yeah. Wow. You can pluck that one. It's ready. Yeah, look, we still have more fruits. Uh, but we have to be careful because mm. there might be snails. Eating. I know. <laughs> yeah, the snails are the worst enemies to these, and to the one, strawberries. When they were found in it, uh, a dodo inside one of the strawberries when we were plucking. Did you eat the dodo? No. <laughs> dudu. We yeah, so i was talking about the overgrown garden so uh, what are we going to do about it so that's what we want to do right now we've been removing some of the overgrown stuff like these letters so you can see we have some free space we've planted some few onions yeah so today we are also going to embark on removing more so that we have we start afresh basically <laughs> because these ones are so overdone then once we remove the weed this is the best part now we don't waste anything so you just pluck it we will pluck all of them you see the, the soil is very soft because the soil uses humus and combined with self-made organic soil so just a bit on the side here 
this is where we make our compost you can see this wooden container so we make our compost and it gives us some very nice organic soil so when we pluck all these weeds in our household with the kitchen waste all that we come and dump them here so this thing has also been there for quite some time you can see it's just a a basic basic container made of wood so we come and throw everything down here like we, we dump yeah good mama not plastic you don't dump plastic and those things that we, we you dump stuff that are biodegradable then they become manure and including papers by the way because papers they are made from trees anyway i mean papers like this kind not the plastic papers so as you can see we've been from the ones that have been plucked the overgrown letters let use mama you said let use <laughs> yeah we put them down here some of them are already drying up so today we are going to add the others here then we also have a lot of papers that we shred today no you you shred the papers yesterday right yeah we should yeah so we also we don't waste anything so put some down here you can put some yeah But actually, Dad said that you put them under the. We will, yeah, we will lift them. I just wanted to show them the kind of papers. This kind of papers. Yeah, this kind of paper. The book papers, basically. So when we put them down here, in the compost. And when you, you are shedding the paper, uh -huh. not supposed to show the signature like this one. Uh, this one. I love that. Yeah, you be careful about your information. Yeah, so you just, although they will rot here, but it's good when you're dumping papers. Hey, that's a, that's a tip, Mama. Thank you. You don't show your details, like security. <laughs> that's a good one. Thank you. Oh, my, my recording partner is my eight-year-old baby girl. She's your teacher, English teacher. <laughs> and giving us some tips on dumping our papers. Yeah, remember to hide your info. The world is bad out here. Yeah, so once we put we, we put them here, we put the papers, our kitchen waste, we don't waste anything. We usually, we don't dump, I mean, to the, what do you call it? Yeah, we, when we dump everything, we, we come and sort them here. So the only thing that we give to the garbage collection guys is the papers. Everything else comes down here. So I don't even can see. Yeah, so as you may little girl was saying, we're going to cover them now. When you put all, we have so many papers. When you dump them, you're going to cover them with this, this stuff. The other stuff now. When you cover them, there are so many. Once you put them, then you're going to put some water. Yeah? Not like that. Uh, okay, it's show me. It's supposed to, like, you take the papers. Yeah. You want to put water. Yeah. You put them under. You put them like under the lettuce. Our teacher is taking us through this. <laughs> Good job, Lizzie. Thanks. Uh, continue like that. Just yeah, you can one. just demonstrate with a few. Those ones, then cover them, right? Mm -hmm. Show us how you cover them. Okay. Sorry. What beat you? I do do. Good girl. You're not afraid of the dirt, Mama? Because you're a farmer, right? Farmers are not afraid of the dirt. <laughs> this is CBC in play. But I'm afraid of those doodos. <laughs> you're afraid of doodos. Let's see, which doodoo did you find? Look at these ones. Yeah, you, you find a lot of stuff, a lot of doodos. Doodos are insects. Huh? If you don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's our local dialect, Kiswahili. You're afraid of that? That's a beetle. She's a, she's running away from this. This a beetle. Why would you kill it? It's going. It's minding its own business. It's minding its own business. Yeah, there. 
<laughs> then you also find you'll get some worms and all that so if you can i can show you what has what happened earlier for the waste that we've been putting oh look there are a lot of i don't know if i can focus if i can focus you can see we have some uh, i don't know my camera is not about focus we have a lot of insects down here okay they're not visible yeah they are Wait, 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 wait. Where did I do the I've covered it because it, it was covered by a leaf. So there are a lot of. Uh, let's zoom a bit. There are a lot of insects, maggots, and all that. But they are good for the soil because eventually you get very nice organic soil and you don't use chemicals on your garden. So, right? So eventually they will rot. And this is what we get. See? get some fresh manure some from fresh manure from the directly from the farm and it's organic it's good for your mbogas and all that it's good for your plants yeah so that's what you're going to do we'll clean up our garden and then we yeah so here you go so they rot and that's what we get and get very nice organic soil humus so i think we end it here and we continue with our job now. We want to clean up this little garden. So if you have a, some little space in Nairobi, don't sit on it. Plant flowers on part of it. We'll be showing you how we've worked on the inside. It's a very small space, but we, we don't get to buy vegetables. Yeah. We get to farm them right out here. But sometimes we buy. Yeah, sometimes. Because like right now because they've run out and we are replacing no, the old ones. Sometimes even they get and we can't eat them because we will be eating chemicals good overnight. yeah mm -hmm. i'm loving this cbc lesson by the way Thanks. tips mm -hmm. don't, eat don't eat those ones that have been sprayed yeah 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 you just have to wait for a while like let's say one and a half weeks so that you can eat them yeah and basically that's it from us now let's continue with our work mama say bye bye bye, -bye.